I think I need to focus, but I feel like I can focus on everything. So <laughs> I feel like I could divide my attention on different things. I have a lot of dreams and aspirations I want to do. Like, I feel like I could take over the world. I feel like I could do everything pretty much. My name is Ronnie Love. I'm 23 years old and I live in my mom. Right now in my life, I'm a senior graduating Morgan State University. So I, I really don't have a, a set plan like as far as what I'm doing, but I know the direction I wanna go. So I'm gonna come back home to live with my mom and while I set up the rest of the steps of my life. My name is Tiffany Simone. I'm the parent of Ronnie Greenlove. Ronnie is the only child and my favorite son, my mom is controlling. She's hands on. She don't like give me no space. I think she gotta like, you know what I'm saying? Like go a little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> Ronnie, he needs to make a choice. I mean, one minute he wants me to back off. I'm treating him like a baby. And the next minute he's calling me, mommy, could you call the school for me? Mommy, could you book, book my uh, bus ride back to school? He calls me his secretary. Hi. Football has been like my sport that I love. I love football. I played it in college. I played it in high school. As soon as I got to Say. high school and Hi. I had the opportunity to play, you know, I wanted to play. Then as I got older and I realized who players was, my favorite player was Michael Vick. That still is my favorite player. Ronnie's kind of all over the place right now. So Ronnie's doing football. Ronnie's over here want to be a model. Then Ronnie wants to be an actor. Then Ronnie wants to run his own marketing <laughs> I mean, look at Jay-Z. Whatever he does, he conquers it. Pretty much, that's what I'm trying to do, so. Me and my mother created this organization called uh, Silent Voices United, Inc. And basically, it's a youth outreach and prevention organization. The reason why we call it Silent Voices because it's those voices of children that can't talk for themselves. So, we thought it'd be great to call it Silent Voices because we were going to be the voice for those kids that can't speak out. What you doing later on? Um, I ain't, I'm not doing nothing, like because you think you can, I mean, I'm gonna take a few of these things over to Volunteers of America on University Avenue. You think you can help out? Yeah, sure, I could definitely help out. Okay. Basically, we do all my work in my room, which is kind of embarrassing because my room is still on the, on the kitty side. My bed is a twin size bed which I think is entirely too small for, for me, let alone two people, like, because <laughs> I'm older now, so I do be having, like, girls come over and chill with me and stuff, so. Right now, it's, uh, I, it's like this alligator sheet that I had for, like, years. He brings his friends over, female friends over, and he doesn't want to look like such a mama's boy with the crocodiles. Some of the stuff I can't really get rid of, and, and some of the stuff, I don't know, it's just dead. I have an iPod dock that's a, a, a boom box, actually. And then basically on the wall, you just see my love for like, for like sports, like New York sports. I think if, you know, my room's more dealt, it'll help me actually transition and kind of get things done. So I think that'll help me focus more on what I'm gonna do. I'm Tracy Metro, the designer right here on I Live With My Mom. To see how we made Ronnie's room feel much bigger than it really is, check out our next episode and don't forget to subscribe to Spaces.